Good morning. Welcome to Calvary Bible Baptist Church. Our morning Bible study is going to be a little different. Uh, the Lord has blessed us, and we had the opportunity to uh, go to India. Uh, we went there uh, at a request of a local pastor. We had a youth conference, and we went and preached in the church in the youth conference. If you would, take your Bibles today, turn to Acts chapter 1, verse 7, or open with scriptures. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Let us open a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege of being Christians. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to serve you. We thank you for your grace and your wonderful life you've given to us. Now, today uh, we are going to look at some pictures from India. God's been very good. Uh, we're a very small church, yet we are fulfilling the Great Commission. Uh, throughout my lifetime as pastor here, we started with no one and nothing. And God's given us a nice church building, and we've had many people saved come through the church.
our hope for joy or crown of rejoicing I not even he in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ that is coming for ye are our glory and joy so in this church the small assembly of believers has had responsibility for people being saved in Guatemala people being saved uh, in many folks being saved in uh, Nigeria people being saved in India and this is the Lord doing marvelous
it's a lot of holy, but uh, tender meat would be the best thing. Uh, healthy materials, a lot of mileage. Uh, you can't drift if you see. Uh, necessary wood and that would rot a lot. Uh, there's no basement. Um, it's not a place that I would enjoy living.
Wright, uh, down there in the yellow, uh, he was used as an interpreter uh, for the uh, children coming out of the Himalayas. Uh, more of that Mongo look, of course, you'll see that, uh, Mongolian look, you'll see that with uh, Pastor Ashley himself. And you'll see the uh, Shemite features. And um, it's interesting to basically three races from the three sons of uh, Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Ham is the uh, father of the uh, African black race. Uh, Shem is the father of the oriental race. And Japheth is the father of the white or Caucasian race. Now, there's been all kinds of things taught. My personal says more blessed to give than receive. And I had a very nice Bible, uh, quite expensive Bible, it cost about 120 bucks. And uh, he really uh, liked my Bible, so I gave it to him. Um, I think he was quite joyful to have uh, such a book. They don't have a lot of quality, although if you'll look, they dress well, they're clean. Uh, if you look at the ladies, uh, especially the said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and we are witnesses of these things. So we followed the biblical mandate. Our Jerusalem for myself was here at Calvary Bible Baptist. I was born about three or four miles. Bible-believing churches in this area, and they all died 
He said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of, your, of the Lord is his great. Now, what I saw in a very bleak and destitute living situation, the food was just not right. Uh, if you want to know what I think of Indian food, it's basically uh, rice and beans. shows you all things, how that so laboring we ought to support the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it's only blessed to give than receive. So we were giving there a lot more than we were receiving. We received great spiritual blessings. And I say they would uh, go back to every young boy and their wife and they would hand my Bible and they would make joy. And it, it brought joy to him. It's hard for them to get something like that. Uh, those are some books that I'm going to send to the pastor. Thank you. 
joy in their poverty. They found a lot of crumbs and churches and let the peace of God rule in their hearts, to the which also you are called in one body and be ye thankful. Well, the body is worldwide, and we were with God's people, and we were very thankful because they cared for us, they protected us, they watched out for us, and we had a peaceful time. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, richly in all wisdom, that they really enjoy and receive the word of God. Now, the first message I preached was Christ crucified, and we had one lady come forward.
traffic works. Uh, there's no traffic lights, no stop signs, there's no uh, policemen uh, checking your speed. You just drive down the road on the left side, or I'll just drive on the right side, and any time that nobody's in the opposite lane, they show it. And so it's kind of like a flow, it's a real jockey. And uh, a lot of uh, motorbikes, a lot of bikes. viable to turn the owner of the cow, okay, and uh, you could also, uh, depending upon the circumstances, end up getting beat up for hitting the cow, right? Um, it's not a, really a law, it's just what we call it a tradition that they're going to enforce. The concept came because the cow is the animal that they, their mindset is that's where they get milk from to replace the mother's milk. Yeah, fussing, okay? And so they didn't want to hurt the cow, which again could just be a religious, spiritual thing. We get into the devil, okay? And thou art their mother's cherub, that um, is the fifth cherub. Uh, one of the fates is the God of the Knot, that, or that uh, pattern. And um, seems to be something that went through all of humanity.
Yeah, that's the superstition strange in the
Christ. 